welcome students today we are going to discuss about the outer uh, the outermost layers of the plant cell and animal cell in the previous session what we discussed we discussed about the cell history of the cell microscope and cell organelles present in the cell everything we discussed and the differences between plant cell and animal cell cell also we discussed today in detail we are going to discuss about the cell membrane and at the same time cell wall okay for this activity for to know better about this cell membrane we are going to conduct one activity for that activity you may take one rio leaf what is that leaf rio leaf if rio leaf is not available at your home you may take any other kind of leaf after taking that leaf you have to tear the leaf with a single stroke fast then you may get if you observe the leaf under light in opposite side of the light then you may find a transparent layer are you able to find a transparent layer you select that transparent layer and kept on a slide after that add a drop of water to that and place a cover slip on it later you just observe that slide under the microscope okay while we are observing under the microscope we we may see the cells uh, arranged like this in the rio leaf we are able to find this kind of structure what you find in the microscope you just draw a diagram okay later i will show this experiment whenever you attend to the normal classes to the school we have microscope now i will show in the lab okay after that you have to prepare dilute salt solution for the preparation of dilute salt solution you need 50 ml of water and 1 teaspoon of salt try to dissolve the salt in the water by stirring continuously now add 1 to 2 drops of that salt solution to the rio leaf again means the slide again now if you observe then you may identify in the rio leaf the cell membrane is separated from cell wall Uh, i will upload the pictures of that diagram from your textbook after this class you may observe them okay if we start discussion on cell membrane we all know that it is the outermost layer of the animal cell it is the outermost layer of the animal cell here i am going to um, explain about the cell membrane by taking a uh, house as an example okay what is a cell membrane it is the outermost layer present in an animal cell okay if you take a house uh, first of all what we are able to see majorly we are able to identify the walls first is it right means those are the outer parts to a home in the same manner the cell is also surrounded by a membrane what is that membrane is called as cell membrane and this cell membrane also have one nickname like you what is that plasma membrane cell membrane is also called as plasma membrane okay it protects the cell from outer environment again you take house example by having walls to our home what we are getting we are getting the protection from which kind of protection we are getting sometimes it may rain sometimes we may find the uh, sunny days and it may snow to protect all these environmental condition we have to stay in the home in the same manner the cell also getting protection from the outer environment by having this cell membrane do you understand the second point what is third point what is that it protects the cell if you imagine it is animal cell it is the cell membrane and inside we have some cell 
organelles okay these all getting protection by this cell membrane it is giving uh, the cell membrane is giving protection to the cell from outer environment then if we go to the next point give structure to the cell if you again think about the house without walls are you able to find any structure to a house no it is not nice to see also in the same manner the cell membrane or plasma membrane provides structure to the cell it just give structure to the cell okay what is the main function of the cell membrane it just give a structure to the cell if you observe the cells we already studied in your eighth class different cells they have different shapes like nerve cell in the blood cells also we have different shapes nerve cell it may long branched like the different various shapes of our cells we find that is because of the presence of cell membrane then move to the next one it separates the components of the cell from the outer environment for example if you see walls in your home it is having capability to separate the rooms present in our house like bedroom kitchen hall like that it may separate by the help of the walls what what it what is the uh, advantage it just separating from one room to another room in the same manner the plasma membrane also have capability to separate what it is separating the components present in the cell from the outer outer environment okay next uh, the cell membrane is also called as a selectively permeable membrane selectively permeable membrane for example again you take the same example your home mm, generally we have a door and while we are going out what we will do we just lock the door and we go out if anyone without having the key will they open the door will they enter into the home no it is impossible only selected people who are the owners of that house have capability to enter into the home in the same manner the plasma membrane also selectively permeable means it may select only certain substances to go inside the cell and to exit out of the cell do you understand how like we are entering into our own house by opening the key in the same manner certain substances uh, the cell membrane only allows certain selectively substances which are necessary for the cell it give permission to go in and unnecessary substances it just make them to exit out of the cell i think you understand about selectively permeability it give permission to some selectively substances next one it is also called as a semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane in in some people home they have small small uh, room like structures for um for growing pet animals very small holes okay it just allow a cat or a dog to enter through that hole okay if you take a, a small house which we prepared for pet animals like cat or dog they just enter we people unable to enter it or any elephant or giraffe or any type of camel will they enter no it is impossible because the entrance is very small in the same manner here also the cell membrane acts as semi permeable means it allows only certain small substances certain smaller substances to enter into the cell and at the same time certain types of uh, liquid materials like solvents like water also enter into the cell from one cell to another cell and outside also okay i think you understand about this cell membrane once recall 
the cell is surrounded by the cell is surrounded by a layer called as cell membrane and it is also called as the cell membrane is also called as plasma membrane and it protects the cell from outer environment how like our walls and roof protect us from rain uh, from sunlight and from snow and different kinds of wild animals in the same manner it protects us and if we talk about the next function it gives structure to the cell it just give structure and shape to the cell okay it also have capability to separate the components of the cell from outer environment it just separates next it is also called as selectively permeable membrane because it is selecting certain substances and giving permission to enter into the cell and it is also called as semi permeable membrane because it allows only certain smaller substances and liquid solvent items like water okay then it is trying to discuss about another thing that is cell wall okay while we are discussing about this cell wall you may think that most of the cells they does not contain they does not contain cell wall only a specific type of cells only a variety of cells they contain cell wall what are that specific cells like plant cell fungal cell and bacterial cell means plant cell contain cell wall fungal cell contain cell wall bacterial cell contain cell wall then what about animal cell if we talk about animal cell does an animal cell able to contain cell wall no you may get doubt why uh, don't a why uh, the animal cell doesn't contain cell wall but the plant cell contain it fungal cell contains the cell wall bacterial cell contains the cell wall i will explain with one example um, sometimes because of the climatic changes we may find suddenly it may rain thunders and some snow or any uh, wild animal or uh, anything something uh, change is going to occur in our surroundings what we will do we just hide we just run away from that dangerous situation and we just hide we means uh, here all varieties of animals which are able to move means uh, we people ourselves we able to protect ourselves but plants they are stationary stationary means they are able to stay in the same place where they were means where the birth of the plant occur until they die until the plant die it has the plant have to stay in its original place means uh, if i um, rain because of the rainfall or because of the any climatic if the outer environment is very cool it is not running like us and it is not hiding in your home means it need a lot of protection because it has to stay in the same different kinds of uh, unfavorable conditions that's why the plant cell only contain cell wall we people for any kind of animal they are able to protect themselves that's why cell membrane is enough for the protection of the cell in any kind of animal but for plant it is very very important for uh, their unfavorable conditions because they are unable to move from one area to another area to avoid the unfavorable conditions they contain cell wall to get more protection okay this is about plant cell why the fungal cell contain a cell wall as like plants the fungal cell means the fungi is also able to stay in the same place stationary it is also it is also uh, unable to move from one place to another place then what about the bacterial cell we all know that bacterial cells are able to move from one place to another place still it is able to move it contains cell wall why what is the reason will you think 
because the bacteria have to survive in unfavorable conditions where the remaining living things are unable to survive what are that i'll explain now okay it has to stay in extreme cold regions and it has to stay in extreme hot regions also thermal where the thermal power is very high in such kind of temperature also it has to survive that's why the place where the bacteria is existing it is a unfavorable place that's why bacterial cells they contain cell wall okay if we talk about the functions of the cell wall cell is living the cell is living we all know that cell is a living or means a living thing if we talk about the cell wall it is non living thing only the inner portion of the cell wall it may contain some living tissue and the outer portion which is uh, dry that is uh, non living tissue okay if we talk about the plants they contain the cell wall in the plants is made up of cellulose the cell wall in the plants made up of cellulose the cell wall in the fungi it is made up of chitin material what is this chitin material the cell wall in the fungi is made up of chitin material and the cell wall in the bacteria it is made up of peptidoglycan peptidoglycan it is made up of peptidoglycan plant cell wall is freely permeable means it allows all the substances to come into the cell okay it is freely permeable there is no restrictions you have to stop here there is no permission it won't say like that it uh, say welcome to all varieties of substances to enter into the cell that's why we call it as freely permeable and at the same time it provides a shape as like a cell membrane the cell wall also able to provide shape and structure to the cell along with that it is also able to give protection to the cell the cell able to get the plant cell or fungal cell or bacterial cell able to get protection from the cell wall and it also provide rigidity to the cell what it provides rigidity because of this rigidity the plant is very strong the tree the trees are very strong means rigidity here nothing but drudanga undadu next if we talk about the next one transfers it is, the cell wall is able to transfer information in earlier days most of the scientists they think there is no specific function for the cell wall it won't do any function they thought like that but now in the days by the work of different scientists we also uh, able to know the function which is carried by the cell wall is it is able to transfer information from one cell to another cell while the cells are in growing phase or in the developing phase during that time the cell wall it just transfers the information and at the same time uh, the cytoplasm which is present inside the cell it just create external pressure that external pressure will be reduced by the cell wall the cell wall able to produce internal pressure to reduce the external pressure created by cytoplasm is reduced by cell wall by creating internal pressure okay once we call this the cell wall outermost layer of the plant among the cell membrane the plant cells also covered with another extra membrane that is called as cell wall which is very rigid in nature okay it is having certain small small loose tissues on the surface of the bark if you observe a big big trees we may find certain small small holes those are called as lenticels how like a leaf able to respire in the same manner 
the stem and the root also contain small small pores so those are called as lenticels we will discuss about that in your 10th class okay here the cell here cell is a living one but cell wall is non living one inner part of cell wall uh, it will contain some amount of living tissue okay if we talk about plants in plants the cell wall is made up of cellulose in the fungi the cell wall is made up of chitin in plants if we talk about plants the cell wall is freely permeable freely permeable and it provides shape structure and it also gives protection to the plant it also um, creates some visibility on outer surface of the plant or a tree okay it also able to transform the information from one cell to another cell while the cells are in growing phase or in the developing phase i think it is the end of this session uh, everyone if you have understand this in a nice manner then i will be happy if you have any doubts message me